We test all different styles and sizes of ATVs here on Dirt Tracks, but there's no question, we have the most fun testing sport quads. Part of the reason we like testing these bikes is because we get to ride them on motocross tracks and hit all kinds of big jumps. But every now and then, the crazy things we do catch up with us and we end up off the bike and in the dirt. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at some safety gear that we know from experience can help protect your body from more serious damage when things don't go as planned. It's easy to look at a pair of riding pants and a jersey and think that it's really no different than a pair of jeans and a shirt. But from the materials used to the way they're stitched together, riding gear is not the same as everyday street gear. Plastic panels allow freedom of movement, mesh aids in cooling, and abrasion-resistant materials help stop road rash. Furthermore, foam back panels in high impact areas like hips and elbows and rubber or plastic panels on forward facing areas help minimize bruising during an impact and help deflect rocks and roost when you're chasing your buddies. One of the most misunderstood pieces of safety gear is a typical hard plastic chest protector like this one. These types of chest protectors are designed more to deflect roost than they are to absorb impact during a serious crash. The hard plastic is great at stopping rocks, but if you bail in a big way, it's too hard and brittle to lessen the effects of an impact with the ground or another ATV. Our favorite form of upper body protection is without question, the Tech Vest from Tech Rider. It's been designed from the ground up as an impact protector. It can also deflect roost, but its main purpose is to absorb and deflect impacts from the ground or other ATVs. The Tech Vest has been on the market for over 10 years and is the number one vest of choice for snowmobile racers. ATV riders have been using these vests recreationally for years also. Just recently, Tech Rider asked the Dirt Tracks TV test crew to come down and help them design a new ATV race specific vest that would address the needs of ATV riders and racers. Needless to say, we're pretty happy with the result and have already had numerous opportunities to test its functionality. The fact that I'm standing here right now is proof that it works. The last piece of safety gear we're going to mention here is something new that's becoming more popular and common as more and more racing circuits make its use mandatory. A neck brace like this one from Liat is designed to stop your helmet and therefore your head from moving back and forth too far when you land head first. Neck injuries are common and while a helmet will protect your melon, your neck has remained vulnerable until now. The brace goes under your chest protector and sits on your body. Approved chest protectors designed to work along with the Liat brace, like the Tech Vest, help hold it in place. Getting used to a neck brace can be difficult, but for anyone who's experienced the sore neck after landing head first knows how valuable taking the time to get used to something like this can be. Obviously, we know a helmet is the most important piece of safety gear you can buy. And you won't find people with stronger opinions about everyone wearing helmets than the crew at Dirt Tracks. So instead of talking about helmets here today, we're going to do an entire segment on what to look for in a helmet and why you should never ride without one on an upcoming show. There's lots more gear you can get to protect yourself from head to toe. And while all of it's a great idea, not everyone can afford it all right now. So, starting with the basics is a great way to protect yourself from excess damage in a bale. And while you can go a long time without incident, it's only a matter of time before something goes wrong. And when it does, you'll be glad you chose to wear all the right gear. 